We're in the Grumman Cave again, another Monday. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a great crew here. It's busy. It's very crowded in the Grumman Cave today. We have, uh, of course, our normal crew of uh, Ronnie, Lydia, and Annie, everyone's favorites, and myself. But today, <laughs> another survivor. We had uh, Rob, Rob Sestermino last week. Today, we have Rhino from Survivor. Yeah. Not not going to be an all-star. This is an exclusive. <laughs> I found out today. Um, and then we have James Ryan, who is an <laughs> who is an all-star from uh, season seven and six, and uh, I, I think he also is. Uh, you're not bitter, are you, James, about this cast? We've heard a lot of people yeah, say that everyone on the no. cave is bitter. The, first of all, you had to have a duo in order for this cast, and second of all, you had to you had to assume that they were going to be doing something post season seven. You know, yes. this is, I guess. I didn't think they had enough people for an actual all-star season, so I think this kind of fit in nicely with that little... <laughs> I pretend to agree. <laughs> well, thanks That's for awesome. joining us. Either way. I <laughs> love it. A lot of shit went on this week, and uh, tons of discuss. I just want to say, like, one of my favorite things, I think I might just start every show with this, kind of like how, how things shift from the way that we feel about <laughs> contestants, because I know I'm going to eat a lot of crow with stuff I said. Like, I definitely, uh, I hated, uh, Shelly was, like, my least favorite, I, and even Cassie uh, at the beginning of the season before casting, and, uh, and, and I, they're, like, my two favorites now. And I know, like, Lawan definitely stayed uh, even keel with I knew I would hate him, and I do. And uh, I like Adam and Kalia, and now I don't like Adam and Kalia. So has anyone had these like big major shifts where like you've seen players that you just definitely you just thought you hated? You said Kalia. You said Kalia. Her name's Kalia. Oh, is it Kalia? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't get that memo. God. Kalia, I'm sorry. I'm not mad at me. It's because you're white. You well, she'll be able to tell me how mad she is at me because she'll be kicked out before jury. So maybe we can have her on the ground. Sure. She can tell us how her name is pronounced at some point. If she tries well, to change it, she, she, she might have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. <Aww. laughs> what do you think, James? Is there like people who like casting comes out and it's like these people are going to be horrible, and now it's kind of shifting? Like Shelly to me is the biggest one. No, what I, I don't do is I don't watch the. Uh the pre-videos because they're also made up you guys all know the bullshit and the hoops that they make you jump through in order to produce those because you know things like oh this person wants to do this or that and reality once you've been on there you're kind of like oh i can't believe production made them do that but um i do like shelly i think that i like the fact that she's playing both sides and is really getting in there and nobody suspects her i don't I did think Jordan and Jeff were playing a good game up until Jordan made these moronic nominations of Cassie and Shelly. It's like now you have the one person on the block in Cassie that can do your dirty work by getting rid of Rachel and Brendan, and you have another person on the other side of the block, if the house were to flip, which you know can happen, you lose the third part of your secret alliance, the person who's the most loyal to you. So those nominations were just kind of... They were, they were, that was junior varsity right there. That was not what I expected from <laughs> Jeff and Jordan. That's my opinion. Ryan, how would you have played this in the jungle? No, I honestly would have uh, <laughs> nominated <laughs> Cassie and, uh, and Shelly just because of the fact you can always backdoor Dom. And he's, he, that kid's a cancer. you got to get rid of him. He's a threat. He can win challenges. And the, his only problem is having Adam as a partner. Otherwise, that kid would have this thing locked down. He's got, re regardless of what Dick says, uh, okay, he's never Danny had crap. sex. How do you think he can play Big Brother properly? And well, I he's got I'm, not gonna he's give got it, I'm not going to give it to a virgin to be like, yeah, he's you're going to be a great player. Yeah, but oh, he's got Danny, Danny, Danny crap. You can play Big Brother and not bang chicks. <laughs> <laughs> he can buy a whore when he wins. Yeah. <laughs> Marcellus made it to final three and he's never banged a chick. Well, he's not in the last 10 years. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, well, I, I don't feel like we even know the newbies. Do you I, feel I, that I, way? Yeah, Does sometimes. Like, I, I do. I like the newbie. I see new fresh faces better than old faces. Sure as shit. Yeah, I would much rather than focus. It's been like the Brendan and Rachel show. No, that's, that's what I'm yeah, saying is that yeah. I don't know them that much because the cams are always on Brunchel. Yeah, so that's exactly the point. Like, on this last show, it was like a damn soap opera watching the Brendan yeah. and Rachel drama go back and forth, and there wasn't really any good detailed strategy. Not that a lot happens in the first two weeks, but still, it's like, CBS, you put these new people on the show, we're hoping for more than just to roll over and give Jeff and Jordan a victory. So let's, let's see something about it. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Here's something. Yeah. Let's talk about some of this new cast. Lydia, you said uh, early on in one of our episodes that it was like Kalia or Kalia, whatever you want to call her. You said that it looked <laughs> like she ate Shima, and you yeah, said people yeah. took a lot of flack for that. I saw, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go in on out of and let's take a look at this clip because I think Kalia might have eaten Kathy possibly. The whole competition is over, Kalia. She said, I just can't move no more. And she was in pain. Don't touch it right now. Can we get him off her? Very still. He's just cutting it off you, Kalia. You're good. Does my shoulder look crazy? <laughs> Does my shoulder look crazy? No, your head looks crazy. You're fucking insane. This is, uh... You're wearing an ant costume. Is this some new Kathy? Is this Kathy too? Yes. I witnessed that Kathy incident. That looked about right. That was crazy. Do you think she faked it? No, I just think she's no. a, 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 she's a big pussy. Obviously, she has no pain tolerance, so what do you expect? Well, actually, in her defense, which is something I don't really like to do to anyone, um, during one of our, thank you, <laughs> one of our video cops <laughs> on season six, Caser almost had a heart attack. He was out there, Maggie, who was a nurse at the time, knew how to administer first aid. He was having heat stroke, and CBS oh never what? aired it. Who cares and Caser's young you and in shape. heat stroke. Who cares? You fucking man up. Yeah, Caser is, is just like a survivor happen. and see if you get heat stroke, buddy. It, it does happen, better. so... <laughs> CBS just showed we, uh, we actually saw a medic on our season, Annie. You were there. So oh, that yeah. was one of the few days you were in the house. Uh, we saw uh, <laughs> so Brittany funny. got hurt on the hot dog in a medicated car. It was our first glimpse of actual people. Yeah. Oh. And you guys wouldn't have won if that medic had not come out. If oh. the worst thing Kalia is going to go through is like an air costume, like lucky her. I mean, she's got a lot of cushion for the pushing, so I her bones should be just fine. Under there. She should just be happy to have a dude on her, because it's probably the first time it's happened in a long time. Right, I you like uh, yeah. shit. You're a big Shima fan. I do, too. Ka Kalia yeah. ate Shima. Is Kalia, would she be on your radar uh, as someone you may or may not nail? No, that? Absolutely I not. I yeah. actually thought she was like 45 years old, but uh, I heard she's 27, so yeah. And she's, what? No, I, I, no, no way is she 27. No. Isn't a so she said she was 27, I thought. That would be crazy. Yeah, she looks 40, every bit of 40. But uh, no, she's not on my radar at all. I mean, she needs to start utilizing the uh, weights in the backyard and maybe get on the Stairmaster. Someone tweeted me a quote that uh, she said, like, back home I work out all the time. That's, I guess, what she sent a lot of feeds. But, like, that doesn't make any sense because this is, like, in a big brother house, there's nothing to do but exercise. So why would no, you stop? No, you either exercise you or you eat. Okay, they give you enough ice cream and cookie dough to give yourself, like, yeah, no. These shitheads got a bag set. Eating. Did you see that? What? We were making bags out of, like, coffee grounds and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was there for that. Weird. We got bad. Were you there? I don't remember. Yes. I kicked oh. uh, Lane and Hayden's ass. <laughs> yeah, and he didn't Whoa. kick anybody's ass. Um, okay, so do you want to take some questions <laughs> from people? <laughs> The yeah, yeah. chat rooms are blowing up. Uh, <laughs> there's so many. Oh wait, can I say something real quick? For those of you, yeah, go ahead. for those of you that keep tweeting at Danny, asking how she's tweeting from the house. As I've already said <laughs> ten times on her Twitter, I am running <laughs> Danny's Twitter just so when she gets out of the house, she doesn't have twenty thousand requests that she has to go through. So I am running it. Exclusive. Thanks, Jared. It's not. It's exclusive for people that don't listen. It is <laughs> uh, yes, a question for you. We got a question about Twitter from Susan Nelson. Uh, it is for Lydia. Uh, in light of the Jeff thing, I assume that's him like not liking dudes fucking dudes. Can you ask Lydia if she still thinks the live feeds are edited? Thanks. Well, uh, yeah, they are to an extent because nobody saw Jeff apologize to Kalia for his hateful asshole rant. So, you didn't see that on the live feeds, did you? No. Did, oh, did that happen? Did he apologize? Was it sincere? Yeah, and the was camera it, uh... turned away right as he apologized. So, they didn't want you to see that. Did Ronnie have a heart attack? Oh, there he is. No, nope. yeah. I hit the reset button on my PC. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't even know you were gone, Ronnie. 
That's right. <laughs> right. We're, we're taking questions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this question to Andy. I'm gonna give this question to Andy and James too. I think would be a good one to chime in on this. Uh, it's from Mojo Horizon 420. It's a Twitter question. If Jor- if Jordan wins again, how much will she spend in therapy after being traumatized by Rachel's lack of common sense and nasty zits? Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, wait. Dollar dollar figure? Anybody? Does anyone? No, the running uh, right therapy nowadays. Jordan will spend her therapy under a scalpel with a surgeon, not a normal therapist. I want to say that I like uh, Rachel and Brandon personally, so I, I'm just, I don't shoot the messenger. I'm just taking these questions from the <laughs> chat room. Uh, that being said, uh, people are wow. pretty mean in the chat. And, uh, because of, <laughs> I love it. Oh, shit, I gotta take this. Okay, this is good. You know what? Ronnie, I think, we talked about this a little bit. Uh, from Twitter as well. Do you think Brendan and Rachel are doing a good job repairing their public image? Uh, because I've heard that they wanted to go on the show to kind of like, you know, show people that they're not how they were edited on TV, and then it turns out they're exactly the same fucking way that they've been edited on TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Here's the thing about If they wanted to repair their image, then Rachel should have entered the house in some other manner other than I'm back bitches and being obnoxious. That's, she should have chosen some other way to enter the game. But I don't think she should have even gone on the pretense of, of like, mending her image. Like, that's her. That's what got her back on the show in the first place. If she wasn't like that, she wouldn't even be on right now. Yeah. If she's going to win half a million dollars for for whatever, that's why she's on Big Brother. She's not on Big Brother right now to get an extra 6,000 Twitter followers or to have anyone, (laughs) even anyone. Well, that's questionable. Well, okay, that's questionable. But for for the most part, I think you could agree that most people go on the show to win money, and that's it. Well, apparently not worry because about, they're handing the game to Jeff and Jordan and all of them. They're not doing anything trying to win. Uh, they, the fact that Cassie is nominated right now makes this a, Rachel's HOH week. This is not Jordan's yeah. week. She gave that up when she put up a member of her alliance and the one person willing to get rid of Rachel that was adamant about it. It would also make hey, Rachel Ryan. get HOH to get rid of Cassie. Hey, Rhino, you uniquely are the only person on the panel here that uh, really doesn't have any kind of personal relationship with any current cast members. So, uh, totally unbiased, like, who, who do you think is doing good? Because it's hard. Like, I know I can say that I like this person and this person, but I sometimes feel there's that bias there. Like, who, who's, who's your pick right now? Uh, Shelly. Just because of the fact that she's a, she's aligned with the vets, nobody has a clue. She's going to slide right through till, to the end. Who knows if she'll win? But, uh, I mean, honestly, I think Danny will win the whole thing. I think yep. Brendan and Rachel will explode. I think that Jordan and Jeff will fuck up, and that's it. And it will be a done deal. And I think Danny will win against Shelly. Well, speaking of Danny, we have a question from Stickum for James. Uh, this is one maybe my favorite question so far. It's from Shawnee D 247 James, which Danielle do you prefer, Black Danielle or Donato Danielle? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Well, they both play the games. They both play the games in a completely different fashion. So I'd like to say, since Black Danielle or Danielle from season three and All Stars is not in the house, I prefer the other one's gameplay. I, I have a question though. Why is the only person in here who hasn't been a, who was on Big Brother less than Annie, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Annie, is this called yeah. a gremlin cave or is this called just bash Annie cave? Uh, what the fuck? Annie, oh, you. you're okay. awesome. Fuck, uh, Fiona in chat is saying, know, right? to, to, is saying to tell Rhino to take the damn hat off because the girls in chat want to see his pretty face. James, oh. don't wear your hat though in this chat. <laughs> <laughs> so you can keep your hat on. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to uh, our, our little weekly segment. Let's just do this. Okay, so we have a bonehead move of the week with our fancy little intro. Uh, and this, I think, is kind of an obvious one. Uh, I'll just play the clip and let it speak for itself and we can discuss. I was already okay with being on the block, but now that Dick's gone, I can really throw this veto. No worries. I'm like, Joe Cool, this is going to be perfect. I'm throwing the veto, and Keith has no idea. I'm throwing this veto. Portia has no idea. I do not trust my partner. I'm going to make it look like I'm trying my best, but uh uh-uh. I am ready to get rid of my partner. Cha-ching. Portia, see you later. 
All right. Well, that was. I mean, this is a clear uh, cut and dry bone head move. Throwing Nature Witch. Uh, I can speak more than anyone on this stupid thing to do, but at least there's a little bit. There's a potential strategy to that. Veto. There's never a reason to throw a veto. It's your ass on the line. I don't care if you think you're getting yeah. the golden key. Like, never throw the veto. Uh, who wants to talk about this? Anyone? Stupid, no. stupid, Any, stupid. Any. I'm really pissed off because he got a chance to save himself. Unlike some people, he had a chance and he fucking ruined it. And I cannot believe somebody would ever do that. Especially week one, when you haven't figured everybody out yet. You're like, go fuck yourself. Ugh. I like how you kept the bitterness in your answer, too. And he threw a little bit of... <laughs> I'm walking on that. Way to mend that image. That's going real well for you. Yeah, but Annie, um, honestly, though, if yeah. Keith, Keith was trying to win and she wasn't, they wouldn't have won anyways. I, I mean, he, he, and this kid's so stupid. You don't confront people and start talking shit to your alliance going, these people went and talked to so-and-so. They're talking to the best. Keep that shit to yourself. Let things yeah. play out. Don't cause problems and play the game. This guy's so stupid. They had this whole thing locked up. The newbies would have won this thing. Now, who knows what's going to happen. They're dumb as fuck. Yeah. Real bad decisions. Oh, yeah. Um... Question, uh, what is the comment? Someone saying if Kalia Jordan and Adam are in the final three that they would commit suicide and asking if they can do it on a gremlin cave. And I said, yeah, that's awesome. We'd love to have a live suicide on a gremlin cave. Uh, so if anyone, just uh, email me and we'll get you on the calendar. Uh, uh, ch uh, chat question from Chilltown South. Who do you guys think has spent the most money on plastic surgery out of all the Big Brother house guests? Combined? Oh, Lots of questions about financial things. Brandon. Uh, ever, ever, out of any season. Whoa. Mm. Um, 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 oh, that Tanya <laughs> chick, the Tanya <laughs> chick that was indicted for murder, right? What? Tanya was a blonde chick. Mur oh, I remember, remember. yeah. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, you guys were on fucking Big Brother and don't remember. Wow. wow. Big, huge, Look fake moves. You're pulling out all stops with this one. Yeah. Hey, I, I watch shows. I like Big Brother. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I know. Weirdo. Um, <laughs> oh, come on, James. You've named off every girl that's ever been on Survivor before. We had a, we had a sit-down discussion. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Let's come clean in here. All right, see you later. <laughs> Put the bag on. <laughs> hey, did you guys notice this? Someone in the chat room in Stickham, uh, Scarlet Pepper, and I was saying, speaking of the golden key, would it kill CBS to remember the name of their own twist? Last night they called it the golden ticket. Is that true? Did you guys catch that? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't that. hear that. I didn't catch that. If that's true, then it's fucking awesome. <laughs> I, bet it was, I bet it was Chen that did it, too. That's something Chen Bot would do. That's totally, like, right down her line of shit, mm -hmm. like, fucking up the name of the twist. You mean, like, fucking up with Andrew I'm last year? Really Chen, yeah, so thanks, Julie. Julie, Julie accidentally kicking out Annie. We let her vote that week. Annie, to get Matt, does she know you? What? Oh, Julie Chen? Julie Chen? Yeah. No, I don't think she likes me. I always got this vibe in the house that Chen, that Chen didn't like me. And I liked her. Like, I, I used Chen Bot as a term of endearment. And uh, I, 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 I question her fashion style sometimes. I think she dresses oddly, but I'm not one to talk. It's not problem, but yours, Matt, that she doesn't like you. No, it's definitely my problem. Yeah, yeah. She never would ask me questions or anything. <laughs> never want to talk. Uh, I think she thought that I said, I always was like, uh, I call Brittany a succubus on my live eviction speech. And I think she said I called Brittany a sucky bitch, which I did not do. You didn't. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. You're so, lying. You should have. Oh. <laughs> Andy. Andy. How dare you. I'm just teasing. Oh, Who is this Annie? Uh, this blonde Annie. <laughs> <laughs> the real one, for Christ's sake. We need a black Annie so we can debate which Annie we like better. Uh, uh, question like from the Annie. forgotten one from Stickum. If you were on this season, who would you form an alliance with and why? And I assume this would be uh, maybe with the newbies or with the vets. I don't know. I would take... Uh, geez, knowing what I know now, I'd probably take uh, Cassie. But uh, at first glance, if I was thrown in that living room and just had to like pick blindly, I honestly probably would have picked uh, Dominic, I think, at that time. Yeah, I would have too. Hmm. I'm not know. sure who I would have picked. I'd probably pick Kalia, actually. Why would you have done something like that? I don't know. At the moment I saw her, I felt like I shared a common vibe with her in terms of attitude. So. 
<laughs> it's I don't know, so super weird, weird, right? It's <laughs> <That's> totally <laughs> insane. Dude. What kind of vibe do you share with Kalia? She seems kind of bitchy. <laughs> I can be bitchy, so... The both honest and great physical competitors. I don't know. What, what, would anyone have teamed up with uh, Lawan in any way? For any reason? No. no. Teamed up with, no. See, I would, no. I would think that you'd want to pick a partner that everyone else would hate. That way, yeah. they want to get rid of them. You know, I wouldn't want to well, have any comments. I pick Rachel above anyone else. Well, she had a partner. Well, if she didn't have a partner, douchebag. <laughs> well, I pick the fish. fish. I pick the fish because they don't have partners you either. Your headphones are all twisted and messed up, old man. Get it right. <gasps> Seriously. <laughs> oh, <laughs> next question, oh, please. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so we can see your ball spot. What? Hmm? What? All right, back to those Dennis people who are listening to. Uh, check. Rhino, you got a question. Chat room question from Halbert Owl. Rhino, how long will it take you to get with every single girl this season? Uh, two point two, two seconds now. I'm I'm not I'm not interested in any of the girls. Not now. interested. I've already Porsche, been over this. Porsche, Twitter, is, Twitter. Porsche is cute, but that's about it. Oh really? You're not a K you're not in the case? No, not at all. Not my type. Not at all. I like them darker. Type. Kalia. Twitter question from uh, Chris P. King. Do you think they'll bring back any of the first four evicted? I think they could do that. Um, you know, none of the post-eviction interviews have been on tape. They've all been text-based, you know, uh, internet interviews. So it's possible. Uh, I, I don't know that I want them to, but it's, they might. It's possible, but I don't think they will. I'll, I'll tell you how. If Jeff or Jordan go home in the first four weeks, then right. they will definitely have a right. vote to bring someone back. Yeah, James, you bring up a good point. Like, I mean, they, they do what they want, and as much as they like to say that they, they plan the season out, I think they do to an extent, certainly, but, I mean, they're on the fly with this shit as much as the contestants are. The contestants got to play on their toes, and the produ production has to play on their toes because, um, yeah, I, I think you're right. If, if one of the America's favorites, you know, Brendan, Rachel, Jeff Jordan, go out, all of a sudden there's going to be another fucking twist where, where someone's back in the house, such as Big Brother. Well, I mean, they have the option. I mean, with... Um Dick's, you know, exit, there is that extra eviction that they would have either done a double eviction or moved something through. So, why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, James loves Dick, so he wants James <laughs> Dick back, so. I actually, that would be great if that was one of the options, if they could vote Dick back in, but unfortunately. Oh, yes. That'd be great. Unfortunately, be he's already seen too much, so they wouldn't let him. Right. Yeah. But that would hey, be a big that. twist. People are asking in the chat about Portia being racist. Has, has anyone heard this? I wish I watched more no. live feeds. I really need to do this. Yeah, I haven't heard anything. Like a job in a life. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. A, sort of. A life. Let's hope so. So then it gives this season some type something. of something. Mm -hmm. All right. This is. I, I'm going to ask this question, but I, this isn't what I really want to answer. But it kind of goes down the line. Sticking question from Mr. No Pants. What are the chances Jack gets another miracle coup d'état from CBS? Uh, I don't know if they'll get that, but do you think they're going to do something like um, like the well, power of veto coup d'etat where they just give well, someone... Because that's how he got it the first time. He, he bitched and complained, and then he got his magical little power. So if something doesn't go his way, he'll just complain about it, and then they'll magically create something, have people vote, get a shit ton of money, and then give it to him. He's no, the internet guys are furiously <laughs> typing away at their keyboards about Lydia being bitter right now. I can see, hear the keyboards <laughs> clicking away. <laughs> I don't He's think definitely the uh, Boston Rob of Big Brother. If they do something like the coup d'etat or whatever they do, I wish it was more like a competition based. You know, yeah. where it was whoever. Yeah, they should this just. Crew. Me too. I don't want these like secret ballots where they're like, oh, pick, and then they just, you know, I want to see somebody compete and win it. Yeah. Versus just a, a little envelope so we know that they just gave it to them, you know? Yeah, I always thought my season for the coup d'etat, they should have let us compete in the house. Whoever won that, go against a fan, whoever the fans chose, and out of those two, there's a competition, and whoever wins it gets it. That's what I thought should have happened. I have a question off topic. Ronnie, when you just flashed up on the big screen, are you in your kid's room, or is that yours? That's my room! <laughs> this is my nerd cave! <laughs> okay, James, what is that single rose in the background? He was on Bachelor. <laughs> bachelor! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Which show is this? That's actually I, like, I, like, my, what is that's that? like that's like liquor cabinet and shit over there. So with a single rose. 
I don't know where that came from. He's the new bachelor. Who's my I, I, fuck, I only just blew it up. I am the new bachelor. Yeah, way to go, jerk. <laughs> People, people, in the, people in the chat room are asking, you guys probably heard Cassie and Rachel got into a kind of a, a argument last night, and uh, people in the chat room are asking about it. I got a clip of it, and then we can talk about it, because it's kind of entertaining. I didn't get to see all of it, but here's a, little, here's a little bit. You play a little mind game with people. You act like you're the victim, always. Like, just like How right now, so? you're the What the fuck does that mean? A victim of what? You're at, okay, just saying that... I don't think that it's fair that, you know, I should be the one going home. That's acting like a victim. Number one, I'm not saying it like, what was me? I'm leaving. And Why that's cool. I know that's the case. I'm going. You had I tried to. I tried to. Exactly. Yeah. But you didn't. <laughs> You're a caddy. You really are. You came in here thinking that this is going to be your second chance around. Like, I really pulled for you last season. I just want you to know that. I was a fan of yours, and I was like, that's bullshit the way people treat her. And then you come in here, and I get it. Absolutely. You're a catty, catty girl. Ugly person inside. Boom. Take it as a tip and learn from it, Rachel. This so is, uh... Hey, hey, Matt, real quick. To save Cassie's yeah. ass, I think that uh, that was a smart move. You know, saying that, hey, I'm a fan of you, and, you know, this maybe maybe she'll come back and be like, hey, fuck up, I'm sorry, and, and save her. You never know. Well, what, fir what first made me like Cassie, and some people thought this was stupid to her, I, this is what made me like her, is that... What if Someone, look at this. Someone sent me this. It was on Twitter. Oh, golden, golden ticket. Golden ticket. Golden ticket. Oh. Oh. What idiot. That's fucking crazy. CBS, you suck. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Well, we like him, big brother. It's official. James is not back at all stars. He just said CBS yes. sucks. Oh my god, that's hysterical. Oh, you should have heard what that used to say. <laughs> no, what it says, like, that's why I like Casey, because when uh, Brendan was playing the Godfather and calling everyone up to his room, Casey was the only one who didn't just say, yeah, yeah, we'll do what you want. She's like, no, I don't really get this. Why would I Why would I do this? And again, you know, now she confronts Rachel and is like, you know, fuck you. So uh, I like that she's got little balls to her. And, and some people say that's stupid gameplay, but I respect it. What do you got, James? Um, my guts did the same thing, you know? I'm sure everyone remembers him, and he's well respected. But uh, Dick sent his ass home. You know, it's just that's not. You don't go in the Big Brother to make friends or anything else. You go there to win money, and you do what you have to do. Anyway. Tell everyone you love them. It's just really frustrating because I literally had the same conversation with her last year, and people got to see how she was last year and all the lies and all this crap. So they should expect this out of her. I don't know why people aren't pulling to get her out. Because I don't understand it. Left in the I know, I know that. It's so just so frustrating to me. They saw what happened several times last season with Rachel, and it's now it's the same fucking thing. Why are they not getting her out? These newbies. It's like, what are you doing? My favorite part of that clip is the end where she just sits and stares at the door in the empty room because it's so reminiscent of her. Of the backyard. She yes. loves ending arguments by just staring at a door. Staring, she's staring at. Yeah, just stay. She yeah. loves doors. Like, doors just calm her down and, and yeah. level her, I guess. <laughs> Lydia, you're a, you're, a, you're a tough broad. Are you are you one to kind of... Uh, I mean, you dealt with uh, problems in the Big Brother house during your season by speaking your mind, and, you know, it didn't totally work out awesome for you. You did get to fuck around with Jesse, which is uh, every woman's dream. But other than that... Uh, <laughs> How, how do you think? Is that Later. good strategy or bad strategy? Later. <laughs> no, is that good strategy? Is that good yeah. strategy or bad strategy to like speak your mind like that? Do you think, or is it, should you just kind of tone it down and keep it low key? Well, maybe if you win shit and have power, popping off's not gonna hurt you so bad. But uh, when you're low man on the totem pole and you pop yeah. off, maybe not the best thing. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when what is Cassie won and look at like what a bigger fish and threat like. Rachel is, but nobody's in a position to go against her, and nobody will. See, that's what that's what Jeff and Jordan don't get. Is they gotta get Brendan and Rachel before Brendan and Rachel will get them, because Rachel is cutthroat. Rachel is ruthless. Where Jeff and Jordan, they're like, let's be nice, let's be loyal. Yes. I don't know. I saw Jeff uh, in H O H look like he was really putting a smackdown on people. I like okay, that side. Well, when you're at Jeff and Jordan's mental capacity and they cast people who are just retards, yeah, you can win and, like, act like you know game and what you're doing. But, like, come on, James. If you were to play against Jeff, you would get him out and make him your bitch. I would keep <laughs> Jeff, at least he'll sequester as a vote, 
but you'd want to get rid of him before there's any like America votes because you know he's going to get whatever it is. Right. Mm -hmm. And at that point, he's very. I mean, he'll easily be persuaded. That's the problem. At least that's how it works. Uh, Lydia, Maybe this year is different. Lydia and Ronnie, I'm going to apologize in advance because I think you're going to hate me for saying this, but I kind of, I, I, I'm turning on Jordan a little bit. I think she might be like not as horrible of a player as I'm, we may have all thought. Do you, do you, Ronnie, go ahead. I mean, is she yep. kind of turning around as maybe playing the game a little bit? I have said this to Lydia and others. The Jordan Lloyd that you are seeing this season, and even the Jeff Schroeder to a great deal, they're not the same people that play Big Brother with us. Jordan had no idea how to play the game in 11. She lucked her way to the end and kind of fumbled through and got lucky, and, it, and we let her get further. But I'm telling you, this season, she's playing the game. But, like, Do not Jeff make and Jordan, too, playing. are both very lucky in the game because they're well-liked by America. They know that, like, they have most of the viewers rooting for them. And so CBS tilts the game to their favor. It's just what it is. It's not like it's good or bad or wrong. It's just how it is. But they're definitely playing the game this season a lot better than they did our season, and... Well, yeah, because they know they're in Big Brother this time. I mean, the this way I've heard Jordan <laughs> speaking in HOH, I've even said to my wife and everyone, I said, she's actually working things out, so as long as she's doing that, I can support Jordan in that sense, because she's playing the game. Yeah, I agree. I mean, again, like Brendan and Rachel, nothing against them personally, but they're playing the same bullshit, shitty game they yeah. played last season, too. Yep. And at least Jeff and Jordan, you know, love them or hate them, they've, they've changed and they, they've yep. learned from their mistakes or whatever, and they're, and they're, they're adapting. Um, so I, I think it's working out well for them, and I, I kind of oh, support yeah. them this season. And I've, I've, ri I've ribbed on Jordan a lot for being a dodo, uh, but I, I give her respect this season. I think she's, she's doing all right. You got to think, they have... They've had a lot of practice. This is uh, Jeff and Jordan's third reality show together in two years. Right. And it's Jeff's fourth reality show. So by this time, they should know all the things to listen to in the diary room to see how, which way the producers want things to go and just kind of all the, those little incidentals that could, you know, make a difference. We got a Twitter question from w, WKW 1982. What do you think of Dom and Danny teaming up? How about Rhino? What do you think of this? Is this going to work or no? Uh, and is it bullshit yeah. or not? I, I I think it'll work for Dominic. I don't think it'll work for Danny. I just I, I it's it's a no win. The kid's too smart. I mean, people are just kind of just it, the kids in the H O H room. He's trying to work deals with Jeff and George. You know, the, the kid's always doing something. And his smartest move was just to be like, "Hey, I give up, Danny. I need to be your partner. I'll do whatever you want." Kid kid might make it to the end. Danny might just get sucked into all that bullshit. I mean, Dick says that she's not. It looks like she is. You know, she's like, oh, shut up. And, you know, she, I think she's into him. I think it's going to be a problem for her. Sorry, Andy, well, you think your lady is with another. <laughs> yeah, Andy, what do you think of this? Okay, this, I think this, this kid needs it's to keep his hands to himself because if somebody messes Danny with my woman. Danny smells Danny's dirty panties every night before she <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. I'm not even kidding you. Every night if I see him here, I'm like, he needs to stay away from her, okay? Like these people send me pictures of them together and it's very frustrating. I'm getting hot right now. Yeah, I don't a like it either. Girlfriend named Jen. It's <laughs> She's right over there. Take her. Let me some her. <laughs> no, no, I need her. <laughs> so no, I think you're right. I think what? Sorry. No, no, go ahead, please. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I give you the floor. Amy. Uh, no, I forgot. <laughs> Oh, come on. This is why you get kicked out of the door. So no one wants to hear you fucking wait to think about things. And sorry, talk. sorry. All right, well, forget it then. We're going to start going to video mailbag, which is Rhino's favorite part of every... Of every uh, Love it. I'm going to start sending for a minute. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love these stupid little bumpers. Uh, we're going to go... Uh, here, here's one. We'll do, this. we'll do this dude first. Uh, this is kind of hard to see. I don't know where he was taping, but we'll figure it out. Hey, Matt and Co., I just had two questions. How long do you think it'll take Jeff to want to punch out one of Rachel's boobs? Because it just seems like he's already getting pissed at her already, just like every single other person who watches the show. And also... I was wondering, when do you think production will come up with the golden power of getting the fuck out Rachel, Brandon, and Shelly? Because I don't like Shelly either. But because they're already so mind-numbingly horrible, I don't know if I can watch for very long. And 
Also, Ronnie sucks. Okay, <laughs> so we, awesome. we have three things going on here. We need to. Ronnie, I love you. We need you. to find I out. I love it. Your Danny pizza Ovedia. is delicious to me. How we need to find out. What, let's let's regroup here and get, get this shit together. We need to find out when Jeremy's going to punch Ronnie's boot. Or, uh, 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 boot. <laughs> we need to find out when they're going to uh, bring the golden power of shut the fuck up into the house. And we need to uh, make sure that Ronnie is fully aware of this person's distaste for him. And uh, on that third respect, I, I'm going to, Ronnie, I need to even agree with me on this. I'm going to compliment that guy for doing this because there's so many assholes out there on their keyboards typing away about, uh, man, you're a hideous yeah. troll, Ronnie, you're a fucking nerd, Lydia, you're a bitter fuck. But this guy taped himself, went on camera, and said, Ronnie, go fuck yourself. Yeah, Good yeah, thing. Like, I think mean, that's I respectable. Like that. fast, I like that. And then he goes, it's like... No, I like to do it. I think that's okay. If you're going to come on camera to our face and say it, not, then say it. That's good. But as far as punching Rachel's titties, I mean, I think Jeff should just go ahead and do it. I mean, why not? Right? Let's answer this guy's question. His own question. I don't know how that's going to advance Jeff's game. I'm not sure that's a smart move. You know what? Uh, that I might get him put on the block. Touch Rachel. Rachel would just kick him in the nuts. So you know what? I think he should try it. Be good TV. She's feisty. <sighs> Yeah. Wait, what was the other answer? question? Uh, yeah. The other yeah, question yeah. was about this guy wants the golden power of get the fuck out of the house. I don't think he's a huge Rachel and Brandon fan. And I don't know if this is the best video mail we've ever received, but we do appreciate well, the, the fans. One, the guy the hey, I'll, I'll tell you what, if Brandon and Rachel keep winning, then, you know, what? what is anybody going to do? They, well, they can't do anything. Thing. Jeff and okay. Jordan, Jeff and Jordan can't beat him. Nobody in the house can beat no. him. What they need to do is get that little kid Dominic and use him and to get them out. That kid, he's going to be a problem for Brendan and Rachel. You watch if they don't yeah. get rid of that kid. I hope he wins HOH on Thursday. Virgin. Lydia, am I right in saying you probably would not be surprised if Pandora's box gave Jeff the golden power of get the fuck out of the house, right? And then all of a sudden... Yeah, just no, no, they'll come up with, like, a golden egg to give him. Or some stupid <laughs> bullshit. Like, spin off... No, I'm just egg. egging on your bitterness, because I like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pandora's box will have a taser. ...that isn't, you know, 1990. <laughs> I've had this haircut, and I'm not lying, since I was, like, probably 14 or 15 years old, and I've never changed it. So at one point in my life, I was, like, really fashionable and, like, hip and everything, and it was, like, slowly just kind of started wrestling down. Okay, Vanilla Ice. It's, no, uh, it's, 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 it's a little Pee-wee Herman-ish. Well, Ed Green. Okay, no, 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 everybody, screw Matt's hair. Screw Matt's hair. He got his toenails removed just because he wanted to. Yeah, I did. What? what? Do we know this? Matt got his toenails removed because he wanted to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think no, it's no, yeah, you gotta, you gotta I've ever keep do. talking. I can't, I can't contort myself any further. Can Did you, you just get tired of cutting them? Mail? Yeah, well, the big know. ones, just the big ones were growing really fast. So I, cut, I, I didn't like cutting the big ones. So only the big ones I got removed. They got on my own ones. This is a topic for another, uh, another Sorry. Show. And they also did not get me further in the Big Brother house. <laughs> Uh, so potential ca potential castmates, if you want to go on Big Brother, don't go to those extremes because it does not help you. No, actually, I think you should all go to certain extremes like amputations, um, lobotomies, masses of them <laughs> by the hundreds of thousands. If you rare bone brother, diseases that show you're going there. <laughs> Uh, hey, Ronnie, look at this is kind of nice. Is that the only one from video Mr. Just a comment, just to kind of boost your ego since Ronnie got rid the little last time. Hey, Ronnie, Ronnie played the game and created drama. It's better than Shelly, Adam, Kelly, a snooze fest. You rock, Ronnie. Smiley face. So there's a little to get back. Love. Was that yeah, the only so video so not... mail? No, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's do this. Where were we? Yeah. Video mail. How about this one? Annie, this is, Annie, this Mass, is for you. That's fine. That's all right. That's <laughs> thank God sure. if it's gourd. I don't know what I do. Annie, here, this is for you. My question is for our Annie. If I wanted to become a real-life saboteur, what would be the steps that I would have to take to become one? A successful one. Get out of the no, he said a successful one. Don't ask me. He can really answer this question. Okay, don't, yeah, don't ask me. Good lord. I will say, though, I was never caught with a saboteur ex. So, I mean... I wasn't a good saboteur. I just sucked at the rest of it. 
So what would be an intro? Like sharing a bed with Brendan? He should probably start with that, right? Because that's how you He's talking about real life. He's not talking about the game. Oh. There's a million different options. Exactly, Ronnie. What's in real life? Yeah. I need a more specific question. I need more detail. I have a question for Annie. What? So, Annie, what do you normally picture happening between you and Danny if you had, you know, just that one evening alone in that hotel after the show? We've had many evenings alone, okay? Oh, that's a great question. And I'll keep it. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> and can I video I like that? <laughs> <laughs> no! We just we've good. learned, we've all learned from that. No I'll videotape, no Skyping, no. <laughs> Did Lydia fall asleep? Oh, yes, yeah, she did. Lydia fell asleep because of yeah. Matt's bake. Look at her smiling. Look at your little back. smile. <laughs> I'm so bored with these fucking fans. Oh, <laughs> so Lydia. Stupid fan mail. Lydia. I want something rad. Get to, get okay, Lydia. Way. Yeah, Lydia, you know a fan what? has a question fans, for you. My fans are awesome. The rest of y'all? I don't know that. Well, unless Lydia is someone oh, like that, I'm going to you. And it's taking me a while to filter out these people, but they're not needing to stick them from. I don't need you. <laughs> I know We're that. Back on the island. We're back on the island. <laughs> Lydia, these people are saying pleasure. things that are not nice, but they're very funny. Stick and question from Arkazan. Lydia, do you think CBS will do something for Jeff even after his homophobic rant? Wouldn't that be a PR nightmare? What do you think about that? Is CBS is That's actually a good question. Anything that is Jeff a good question. Said. They will not address it. They didn't address it the first time. He said faggot. So why are they going to address it now when he just said even more horrible stuff about the gay community and <laughs> Harry Potter? He disgraced Potter. Okay. Here, in case you get, in case people didn't see it, it's a, a, a storybook of where they go to way to fantasy camp, and it's all little kids and their parents, and the guy is gay. But everybody else, but just because he's gay doesn't mean there's anything wrong with him. Get the fuck out of here! Don't start with that fucking shit. I know, but wait, what are you? Don't tell me the right answer for fucking TV I'm not. when, when well, you don't think it's the right answer. My little sister's gay, so I have to deal with gay people. I know that's so for me. Think about what it is. I don't, but I don't understand. I truly don't understand. Why you truly don't understand. Why he would be well, mad? Then, then I don't, I don't understand either. All right, here's Ama the thought. Amazing Race hey. All-Stars no, for no, Jeff no, no, or no? Hey, no, 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 here's the thought. Let me let me say this real quick. Something no, happened to Jeff no, no, when you no, were no. I guess you talk. I can't. Can. <laughs> what? What? Something happened to Jeff when he was a kid at camp. That's why he's so freaked yeah, out about Jeff. it. Maybe, People maybe don't like fucking act like that. Maybe something to him? I don't know. The way, my, my big issue is like, I don't care what he thinks or whatever, that's funny, he's entitled to his opinion. The way he spoke to Kalia was so degrading yeah. and like some weird 50s womanhood get in the kitchen bitch and make me food type of attitude. That that is like, that's what's disturbing. It's like, could you imagine how he talks to Jordan when he's upset? Lydia, I don't think it was that. I think some kind of trauma you with him. sent him you back. With him sent him back into that situation. It doesn't seem right. I have to that agree with he, Rhino on... He fucking freaked out. I think he something happened freak. to him. Nothing we want to speculate. What happened? We don't want to speculate okay. on anything like that, yeah. obviously, because right, we weren't with him growing up. Yeah, but exactly. he flipped. Something flipped for survivor him. survivor said it, not me. <laughs> that's fine, I said it. But what I'm saying is, that's my speculation. Something like that I may have know. happened to him. That's why he snapped. And it's or someone you knew. Hey, it's no excuse for for acting that way. But he snapped, and he's re gonna regret it afterwards. Yeah, no, because so. CBS, CBS will take care of it for him. Hey, uh, uh, oh god, right? I was say what people need to understand is the people who watch the feeds religiously. They're the minority in terms of who's watching the show. The vast majority watch the show itself, so the majority of people that watch the show will never have any idea that even happened. So, There's a uh, Twitter question here. I'm kind of curious. I think Ronnie and Lydia would be cool people to ask about this because uh, your season was pretty like heated for the most part. From uh, Deuces127, I'm so tired of no fights being shown on the televised show. What do you guys think? I know Ronnie, like you and Kevin, had a pretty heated blowout that no one ever yeah. saw. I know Lydia, the Braden thing, like really never totally made it to air as it should. Um, do you think it's like for brevity because they can only show so much? Or do you think they're kind of protecting their ass and don't want to show 
different well, things. Well, they're just protecting their their own self. If something is either about a certain sexual orientation or race, they try to veer away from that because they don't want to take on any too big yeah. like issues like that. And I mean, I think another big part of it is it matters whether it even plays into the story they're wanting to tell. I mean, Lydia right. remembers the fight I had with Noonan where I went fucking crazy. I mean, I was crazed, wasn't I, Lydia? You remember that? You were scary. Me and Jordan were scary. <laughs> and they don't. Hey, Rhino, is there like a uh, is there a lot of crazy shit on Survivor, like fight wise, that doesn't get shown? Because Big Brother's different. Like the live theaters are gonna see it and gonna start going on the internet. Like Survivor, if something happens, no one will ever fucking know about it except the people on Survivor. Yeah, I mean, I had some blowouts with uh, with probes a lot of times with people cheating. Just just like every you know what how up? things what are up? slanted a little bit. Some but are the cameras time. always there, or is there times yeah. where you're fighting? Because Big Brother, you're always surrounded by cameras. Yeah, if they had unedited stuff, it, Pearl Islands would be off the chains as far as fights. It was it was chaotic. Yeah. Maybe people James, I didn't watch. Uh, I didn't watch your season, like, live feed-wise. Was there a lot of live feed fights and shit that went on that we didn't see, or not really too much? Was yeah, it yeah, kind of what we saw? You're asking me to go back a long time. Wait, 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 this oh, this is, like, non. Nah, you know how it is. We, we know it's ingrained in our heads, everything. No, 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 Eric and Michael's fight, they, they put on television. Jay, television. they never really showed the fight between Kesar and, um... What's her name? Kaser got away with the stuff that really happened with the event fight. But, yeah. um, they showed Eric and Mike's. They showed the beginning or kind of like the end of the Kaser and Yvette. They showed a lot of Bo and Janelle's drunken shit, which was hilarious. And I don't know. They actually didn't show the uh, shouting match that Eric and I got into after one of the veto comps. But that wasn't like anything that was going to go to blows. We don't, I don't think there was anyone on our show that was stupid enough other than, you know, Michael that would have actually gone to blows. You know, how he jumped out in Boogie's face, but that was live. I think season 11 had the most awesome, volatile, like, <laughs> cast in probably recent Big Brother history or any Big Brother history. You I took 13 people away from their map for three months. Of course you're going to have that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great season, like from a drama perspective. It was fucking. I like season eleven. Uh, question for Rhino. Big brother. Rhino and <laughs> Big brother question for Rhino. Rehab. <laughs> Just put them all back in there. Season nine's uh, in jail. Oh so. Yeah, right. Yeah, all of them. Uh, Rhino question. Rhino, don't answer just yet because I have a related video, man. I'll just play as soon as I ask you this. But. uh From Jessica Nicole and Chad, I have a question for Rhino. Why does it, or what? This is all phrase fucked up. I'm going to edit this. What does he think of people complaining of the have-nots? I mean, these people could be in Survivor, meaning they don't have any food. Uh, but here, check out this video, Mel. Kind of similar, similar sort of deal, and we'll, we'll all chime in. He looks happy. Hello, this is Aaron Robertson from the forums. And um, I have a question about the have-nots. Now, um, these food selection choices are always really really odd to me um and i think it started in season 11 if i'm not mistaken so my question is um which room do you think was the worst or i mean the best have not room because it was the worst and which combination of foods do you think was the worst that um big brother has ever given to the house guests thank you so where I want to go with this is just kind of have-nots in general. Like, the worst have-not room is probably Rhino, correct me if I'm wrong, better than the best survivor situation you could be in. Is that it, true? It was, that, it was actually better than Loser Lodge. I mean, if obviously the food's going to be better at our Loser Lodge, but, I mean, it, mosquitoes and the bugs. and the, it, it, I built my shelter. I had to go get firewood to cook food. I had to get water. I mean, it's... It's not the same game. The, the mental part of Big Brother is harder than Survivor, but physically, obviously, Survivor's harder. So, Like, I thought it was funny. Our, our have-not rooms, Amy, I mean, were you there for have-nots? I don't mean to harass you. Were you really? This is a serious question. Or were yes, you of course. I was fucking, like, what? Yes, I, I was there. You were like a ghost. But uh, our have-not rooms had jars of bugs. They had little jars of bugs. And we no, you little bitches, you little bitches in the have-not room, you know, like Kathy, 
There's bugs in jars. In jars? But Rhino have bugs like I did in my car. That's crawling. what I'm saying. I don't know why people complain about that have not room. It's bugs in jars. What the hell? This have not room is fucking awesome. They got padding and they have dressers. You see dressers were in there? Drawers? No, yeah, that's the blast on no. each other. I had a great time. We, I think in terms of, I agree with you, Rhino, the have-not rooms is way better than anything on Survivor, because the conditions are so hard on Survivor, you know? But in terms of just the have-not rooms, I think our have-not room was the worst. Yes. Our, I think uh. we had the worst bed. No matter what, that thing was like diamond-plated metal. And I used to wake up with the indentions on my skin and the blood pulled up. It was terrible. Well, oh, was it like riveted, kind of? Like bumpy? Yes, it was like diamond-plated riveted. Yeah, See, ours were those really chase lounges, but they had like, oh, they had like inch and a half slats between Matt, each, you know. Matt, I live in Florida. They're pool chairs. I pass on that, pass out on that yeah. every Friday night. It's fine. It's no good. It's no good. No big deal. Yeah. I, it's a typical I Friday. Like I am. <laughs> I like to be pampered. Our the man who like has no toenails. <laughs> I like to be treated like the okay, gentleman Golem. I am. Okay, Golem, get back in your cave. <laughs> <laughs> See how he's getting personal now? See, I'm being nice to you, Lydia. I, there's all these funny chat things about you. I'm being very nice and not being them. But, um, let's see, what can we do here? Video so mailbag, number junk. four. <laughs> video mailbag. I look dumb in video mailbag. Uh... Stickum question, would you rather align Why yourself with the know? brigade or join Baller and Maddie in prison? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Prison. Oh, we ever have a video yeah. mail from a female? Ladies, can you please send us some video mail? It's always yeah. dudes. I want some ladies. Yeah, yeah let's send some ladies. Topless. The next one. And the introduce us seven. to all your cats. I'm going to, what? What did you say? <laughs> we don't have that much time, James. So you don't get to see the ladies. Oh, this is a great question. This is awesome. This is for this is for everybody. Old school fans of the show, James, and I, I totally agree with this. Stickum question from Kara to Lucy. Do you guys miss the old style food comps? Our season didn't have one single group food competition at all. We were the first season to not have it. Sucked. All this have not bullshit. I totally miss the old style group food comps. What do you guys think? Tony, Howie and I were actually talking about this uh, yesterday, and. We had to eat on one of our food competitions this ice clam sundae, which was ice cream with raw clams mixed together. It was one of the most hideous things I've ever tasted. And I, I would actually rather suffer through that for one day than have to deal with that have-not bullshit. We didn't have our beds for a week in All-Stars. We had to sleep on the floor, so I couldn't imagine what it would be like sleeping on that metal shit or... Having to be in that concrete room or any of the other shit. But what I, what I miss, and I Sorry, think this is Rhino, cool. I didn't go on Survivor. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't getting this the cool part to me about, the, about the group food counts is that, like, people can be at total odds in the house. Like, you have these divided sides and wars, but now you have to come together and work as a team, and you have to do this to eat for the week. And, like, I never got to experience it, but I can only imagine how crazy and, like, awkward it must be. When you're in like he like you just hate these people, but you need to you need to use yep. them, and and it sucks that they're not doing that anymore. Why do you think hey. my season only had one of them, and it was like right after Shima said she'd sit down and would not play if it was a have not competition, she'd screw everyone over. And me and I were like, okay, we'll do the same thing. Next thing we know, it's a group thing. Yay! That sucks. I I I miss those things, man. No, they're not fun. They're not fun. <laughs> so, like, Chief Boom in the chat room wants Ronnie to do more impressions. Oh my god. The you the HOH! People like your, uh, people like your... Play it, Matt. You H-O-H! <laughs> Annie so, does good impressions, too. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I do. do. Annie, who's your, who's your best impression for this season so far that you can throw out to us? Oh my god, that's... Oh, I don't know! Um, do Shelly, do Shelly. <coughs> I can't do it. No, I just love the when you play that. What's that clip you always play? Do it. Great question. Great question. I love Shelly. You know what? I really do like Shelly. Can I just say? So do I. I'm, I'm going to like this is, this is the first week I've liked her. It's, it's all season. I think she's all right. She's playing. She's she's playing the game. She's yeah. nobody has a clue. Nobody has a clue. She's at the Mets. 
No. I don't even think production knew what they were getting into. I think they cast her as like the mom of the house who do the cleaning and the cooking, yeah. and, you know, fucking washing dishes and shit. And and she's she's like fucking she's pl- flipping around and playing both sides. Yeah. I th- I think uh, I think they got more than they bargained for with her. Oh yeah, honest. for sure. She she's a uh, she's a uh, surprised me in her game. I totally underestimated her. So she would have evicted you. She would. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ronnie. So, I Ronnie, are you the key of this season? Uh, no. I was not. I mean, Keith played. Here's the thing about it. Keith did play hard and fast, but Keith was just like crazy and dumb. Keith was Brian. Like he did. I mean, I played too hard, too fast, but I still had good moves. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Keith, was oh, he, Keith just hand grenaded himself. He needed to mellow out. There, freak, yeah, he did. There's a Twitter question here. I, I don't want to totally exactly ask it, but it brings up a good point. Uh, someone asked uh, from Serenity, which newbie do you think will put up a vet? Uh, I think any of them would put up a vet, but my question, I guess, it leads to is, is there any newbies that wouldn't put up a vet? Do you think if it, any of the newbies got in power, they'd no. actually, like, fall for the veteran bullshit and Kalea. go, yeah, we're going to... Kalia. Kalia, you think if she got in power, she'd buy into yep. that's bullshit and put up one of her own? Yep, she would put up Adam. Oh. Like if Kalia wins on Thursday, Oops, she's putting up Adam and Dominic, and she would only nominate Brinchel or JJ if she had to. Like I hope it's a quiz or something mental because these newbies are not going to physically it compare. Is. If Tom goes it's, home, Dom has to win, or this season will be the biggest fucking yes. suckage since season I totally nine, agree. It is. nine, ten, CBS has 10. been asking on yeah. the website for, like, questions. It's going to be one of that shit, like, what did America think? Is it fucking Juan or Rachel? You know, who who's the most likely to do this? Which is such, oh, I hate these bullshit competitions where, like, it, you don't need to know any strategy or know anything. It's just luck and picking the name. But it caters to the newbies. I think they want the newbies to win. Rhino, I can't, I have to say this only because it been bombarding incessantly. These people are complaining because you're not listening to them to take your head off. So now they want you to take their shirt, your shirt off. And uh, that's not going to happen. But I just have to tell you because they're harassing me about it to let you know that they all, I, I, uh, they all. I will never do it. Stuff. I think you should have a I'll just be not wanting to see it. Incidentally, Ronnie, uh, no one has <laughs> talked to you or I and wants any of our clothing removed. So, I'm okay uh, with we're that. Safe. I don't want my phone yeah. removed. I want Annie's <laughs> top off. You what? I want your top off. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's going to get mad at you, Ryan. Right Be careful with this. I you know. Say. I want Annie to switch to the dark side. <laughs> the dick side? <laughs> the dick side. <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, you guys, thank you so much for uh, Gremlin Caving with us. Oh. That's it. That's a That's hour good. by. Rhino tricked us into uh, coming into the Gremlin Cave by teasing hey. us that he's going to leave for All Stars. They, they kept jack- jacking me around, so who knows? One day we may see him. James, thanks, man. I hope you guys will come back. Lydia, hopefully you'll wake up at some point and chime in and join us <laughs> in this conversation. Because <laughs> we like him. Back next week. Hey, if I do come back for an all-star, I will have my shirt off. I'll be in my boxers and no hat, so <laughs> deal. Yeah. All right, man. Well, thanks, you guys. Seriously appreciate your time and helping out. Uh, love you, and we'll, we'll see you next week. Bye.